what's going on guys so here's my setup for today um have not made vlogging you know a little bit so i like hey we gotta do this so today's friday i'm gonna show y'all mowing a few yards we got a hedge trimming job to do we got got a tree to cut up and uh i'm trying to get y'all some footage of uh i got a there's a shrub in the back here at the church and a few other little shrubs but at least i'll get y'all some footage of the big shrub and let's go get it boys all right boys so it's uh you know it's a little dry i don't know if as you can see it uh, a lot of my yards have irrigation but this one does not my church so what i did was i uh, i didn't have to mow the whole entire thing i still had to mow around the church in the back it's hard to see on camera but there's still some stick up weeds but i went ahead and trim all the a lot of the shrubs so that way all that looks good that's why i trimmed that shrub the back good time to get ahead on some of that stuff and make the visit worth their money you know do a lot of shrub trimming stuff so i'm gonna do a little bit more clean up and i'll be out of here oh, i need to bungee this but uh so this next yard that we're going to uh all right y'all seen this yard before um it actually has grown a pretty good amount though which i'm just kind of surprised i mean pretty deep still so let's get some weeding footage and we'll get out of here
guys can see, I got all these pine cones picked up. Oh, there's one. But got most all these picked up. Weeds. As there's some more weeds here. And uh, here's the side yard that goes on down through there. Finished product looks real good. Edges look nice. All the shrubs were trimmed last week, so we're good on that. How you doing, buddy? Hi, how are you doing? Doing real good. I received your voicemail. Sorry, I didn't answer. I was mowing a yard. Yeah, I'm sure you're busy. That's okay. I, um, my dad bought a house in town. Okay. Some bushes that really need some tending to, like cutting way back, and he just doesn't have the equipment to do that kind of stuff. Can you, can you take care of him? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. It, I'm trying. It might be later today or in the morning tomorrow. Is that good? No, no. I mean, anytime's fine. I just, you know, I just need you to get on it. Oh, I'll, I'll send you his information. If you don't mind, and uh, or how you want to do that? Well, how do you? All right, guys. So. I don't know what the deal has been, but, uh, you know, over the last, you know, last week and this week, for some reason, this is my third pruning job. And one week, you know, where they, people have these bushes that are way overgrown and they want, you know, and I cut them way down, you know, and cut the, the, the weeds out of them and stuff. It's so weird because most of the year, you know, sometimes I get, I get pruning jobs here and there, but, you know, a lot of maintenance and stuff and pruning kind of mixed in, but I mean... In the last week, I got three jobs, you know, where it's just kind of like pruning, pruning only. Although, the lady today, she said she wanted to talk to me about other things, which I don't know what that means. She said, let her know when I'm coming because she wants to talk to me about other stuff. So, but anyway, guys, last week, I, t I, uh, I trimmed the tallest shrubs I've ever trimmed in my life. They're all around this house. I should have got video of it, but I, it was a huge task. So, I was just trying to get with it and trying to finish it, you know, over the weekend or Friday night Saturday morning so it was just it was nuts I mean I'm staying on the top of the six foot ladder and then up as high as I can reach and then you know and I'm still kind of trimming the top and um I mean they're so high you know but the customer wanted to keep them that high and they're all around the house like that and so I told them I said you know I some of that dead stuff up on top of it I couldn't even get it with the rake I mean I told him you know I'm not gonna be able to get all the dead stuff off which he's he was cool with that but anyway so I've done the biggest prune job I've ever done. Today we got another one. We got one on the schedule already. We got one on the schedule. Um, and then this other one down in town, you know, I got to take care of that. I usually don't even work downtown, but it's a friend of mine. So, so you know, we'll see. But um, anyway, so I'm going to have to go look at that. Uh, and, uh... Thank you guys for watching. Let's get on to the next yard. I'm gonna do some mowing footage over here. I've been this week. I've been uh, I've been uh, weed eating first a lot, um, and then sometimes I'll have that the little blower bungeed on the zero turn, as you can see. And then so like when I get done mowing the yard, if I'm in the back or something, I'll just turn off the mower right there, and then blow everything off, blow down to the truck, blow every grass clipping, whatever throw the blower in the back of the truck and then just walk back up get the mower loaded up and you're out of there if i have to trim bushes or something i was i'll hit the bushes first too um and then you know of course i probably have to spray or pull some weeds as well but at the end but anyway so i've been doing that um and it's been working pretty good for me so let's get on to the next yard enough to babble
All right, guys, here's what we're rocking with here. I don't know if you can tell, but this hill is super steep. You can barely stand on it. There's like a pathway that goes down through there, so I can pull weeds and control weeds on this, on this hill. Mowing right here. And um, this part of the yard is so, like a big mower really packs it up bad. Hang on just a second. Um, because, because of like the dips, I don't know if you can tell, but the whole yard is just like a dip. Um, so that part out by the road, I can cut with the big mower, which I did, but this whole yard right here, it's like a big old dip, and so you're big more is dig in right there like all the, on each stripe it tries to dig in so get some blowing done So I gotta try to do the best I can with cutting some of this stump, but see it's a big old tree. Um, you know, as tall as my knee here. But it was laying across the road and the, the neighborhood like cleaned up some of it. And the other day when I was here, I cleaned it, cut all the small limbs with my little saw, but they, the customer is gonna stack it over there. So I'll put you on time lapse, see if I can get this cut up. I really hope the saw runs. I haven't, you know, used the chainsaw in a little bit. So let's get it.
right guys finished product it's not totally perfect but it's just over here in this big old natural area stacked up over here oh man these are a little bit bigger than i was uh picturing a little bit heavier than i was picturing too back hurts a little but uh yeah great customer weekly weekly customer um and so yeah like i said there's one of my nicest most favorite customers and so whew, didn't have a saw with me the other day so i told the producer to stack it over there uh i didn't even charge him to do it um you know because my clients that are great like this i want to really take care of them so let's keep moving Woo, man y'all put me to work as you can see cutting this tree all right boys here at the pruning job and um it's pretty cool because she decided that she wanted to have me do the yard regularly too so and she's at home working the office so but i'll try to get a few spy so shots of the uh the trimming job at least a little bit of it maybe i can show you after actually tomorrow she wants pine straw too so we got a lot of work here oh wait they don't get ran over here here's the house right there um so we got a lot of work here but the good thing is you know i got the lawn care every other week now so that will be a good thing so let's get out all these saplings out and we're gonna trim this down below the window as you can see trim that tree at the end trim all these bushes Not a big deal this will be pretty quick all right and those saplings you're just gonna chop them off at the ground we're not gonna dig them out so it won't be bad all right all right boys all the weeds pulled out of the shrubs. All this. All this. All the weeds pulled out. Pretty darn good. Whew. Yes, sir. I got a splinter pretty deep in my finger, but other than that, I'm doing great. And, uh, man, I wanted to talk to y'all about, I mean, you guys that have that, uh, luxury of the city picking up sticks at the road i mean that's amazing like i did that last job y'all that have that in your town y'all are spoiled i'll just tell you that right now i'll tell you that right now what all that crap in the back of my truck man nah yeah i mean this little pruning job you know just because i'm down in the city and uh they pick it up I'm like man it's, uh I don't know where I'm going. I just went around a big circle, but I'll get out of here eventually. But anyway, yeah, I'm not used to it. I pulled up. I'm like, whoa, this is kind of interesting. I feel like I'm in the hood down here, you know. I'm not. It's a nice neighborhood. There's the house. Looking good. Um, but you know, as y'all know, all my houses are extremely high end. So when I come down here, I feel like, I feel like I'm in the hood down here. But we got it done just a little under two hours charged them a hundred bucks 
um, friend of a friend. I wouldn't even have really took this call, you know, normally, but, you know. Um, hey, keep it moving. Alright, boys. As you can see, it's a mess. Um, so, that one pruning job. Oh, sorry. Russ told you they, uh, this clipping's all the way up front. I told you they wanted me to start doing the yard. And I, whoo, I'm tired. A little bit. Um, what am I, what am I saying? Oh, yeah. Um, sorry I didn't get footage, you know, of the whole prune job. 38 shrubs all around the house. Um, but they were home, they were out barbecuing, they are all that stuff. And I just, I just met the customer today, literally, like, 10 minutes before you know before I started the pruning job and so but they want me to start doing the yard but tomorrow I gotta go back to that same um, that same shrub job and I gotta put out um, 30 bales long leaf and so I gotta get this debris unloaded I filmed a few of the yards I did today and a whoo been a long day, two pruning jobs in one day, as well as doing a bunch of my other yards. Um, got a big old splinter in my finger, gotta get that out later. It's about seven o'clock. I'm gonna get all this crap unloaded. I gotta go to my house, unload all this equipment. And then tomorrow, Saturday, it's another day. We'll keep hustling, do the straw, keep doing our thing. Hope y'all are enjoying your lawn business. I'm enjoying mine. I'm working, I'm perfecting the art of enjoying it each day. The longer I, I'm involved in the lawn, lawn business the more I like it which I mean has been a lot of years um, but it's still working on it. it's still super hot here high humidity the whole nine um, so but anyway I'm hustling just like you guys I really look forward to seeing and meeting all of you at the GIE Expo uh, it's not too late if you want to sign up you know and come so i would suggest doing so so let's get it all right boys we're clean 